Well, Thank Jay you. Carney was at the podium in the press briefing room of the House Oversight Committee digging for answers from a top military intelligence official. GM's alive, Osama bin Laden's dead, Al-Qaeda's on the run, when really they're standing at the front door of our facility in Benghazi, getting ready to murder our ambassador and burn it down. Once the first word of, of that we have, we have problems at this annex, it could have lasted 12 hours, 24, 48 hours. So the idea that somehow looking back in hindsight and saying, oh, well, you know, we didn't marshal forces, we wouldn't have gotten there in time, that just doesn't satisfy me. Is, am I wrong in that? Uh, no, sir, I don't believe you are. Did they ever tell you to go save the people in Benghazi? Not to my knowledge, sir. We didn't run to the sound of the guns. They were issuing press releases. And joining us, Oversight Committee member Representative Ron DeSantis. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. So what's the headline on today's hearing? What, uh, what did you learn today that was new? Well, I think we've learned in previous hearings that the State Department folks in Libya did not have any information about a YouTube video. We've heard the CIA station chief say uh, that the video wasn't an issue. And now we hear from the military intelligence community, the guy in charge of, or the deputy in charge of the AFRICOM region, that this YouTube video was a total non-event. They knew that it was an attack immediately. They suspected Ansar al-Sharia. Al who was an al-Qaeda link group. And so there's really no, nobody who had any firsthand knowledge of this ever said that it was a YouTube right, what, video what? that led to this. Okay, so there's no YouTube video. What difference? Well, I think the difference is, is the administration, the higher-ups at the State Department, uh, deceived the American people when they constantly went over and over again, said to the parents of the, uh, of the fallen that we're going to get the guy that made this YouTube video. Uh, they deceived the American people, uh, and I think that that's important. Now, of course, in terms of the military response, if it is a YouTube video, then that may be a different response than if it was a coordinated attack against American individuals. And, and the general's testimony was very clear that that's what they saw it as. They were not getting requests from the State Department to do very much about it. All right. Uh, Speaker Boehner is now calling on Secretary of State Kerry to testify on the Benghazi emails that were withheld from the subpoena request. And I assume that what he's talking about is the Ben Rhodes email that has been surrendered as part of the lawsuit and was not, uh, was not uh, provided when it was subpoenaed by the Hill. Um, what, what, why now? What, what does he gain from that? Well, look, I mean, the administration constantly stonewalls on this stuff, and they haven't had to pay a political price. So I think now the press is interested in this a little bit more because this conflicts, the email conflicts with what Jay Carney had said previously. So if we can provide additional pressure on the administration, maybe that they will stop stonewalling as much. But look, I, I think we should add a select committee from the beginning because we have all these scattershot investigations. Imagine right. if we would add one select committee that could have hammered this well, day in and day out. Well, that's been, I'll tell you, the, you know, I'm, I'm going to take the last word on that, but a lot of people in, in your party have asked for that uh, from Speaker Boehner, and, uh, you know, that has not been forthcoming. So maybe you better have a little chat with him if you think that's a good idea. But I'm taking the last word on that. We've Thank tried. You. We've tried. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And a lot of